placing and applying the egg tempera paint. So you only put out a small amount of pigment. Less is better. Because if you put out too much, um, it's a health and safety risk for one thing. Because if there's a sudden gust of wind or someone sneezes, you have pigment all over the place. Some of these pigments are toxic. And I have a handout here for you. So this lists all the pigments and it lists which ones are toxic and which ones are not toxic, but just in general, health and safety, wash your hands well after you finish this class. If you go down to the cafeteria to eat anything during break, make sure you wash your hands um, and only put out a tiny bit of pigment. Um, I've also listed the characteristics of each of the pigments, so we'll go through that in a little while. Let's just um, I've put out some pigments. I'll start first with the mixing and applying the egg temper paint. Right, so there's a fresh one that I've started. You want to work nice and clean. You'll need a pot of water to clean your brush out periodically so it doesn't get all gummed up with paint. When you're mixing the paint, so I've got out here, I've got the Arby Black, Ultramarine Blue, Cadmium Red, Titanium White, and Yellow Ochre. And I just set, put out a selection of them. Two of them are earth pigments, so they will be quite gritty. And when a pigment is gritty, that means you have to do a lot more mixing and crushing out of the, of the pigment particles. The, um, the white mixes very nicely, quickly. The cadmium colors mix easily, but it's the earth ones that are a little bit uh, crunchy. So when you're mixing a paint, you also want to mix it so that it feels like thin same cream. So it doesn't matter if you take a little bit of pigment and put it into the mixture or you do it the other way around. But I'm just going to put a tiny bit of mixture out, so that's just one drop. So just a tiny bit, right, and put that in. And when you're mixing it, you're pressing down and sliding sideways. Gather it together, press down, slide sideways. And can you see, can you see from there? Yeah. yeah. You can see the pigment particles, they need to be pushed out until all of them are completely dissolved. So gather it together. Now this mixture here is, you can still see the plate through, um, so it's not, what you don't want is it to be so opaque that you can't see the plate, because it's better to have a, many thin layers rather than two thick layers. The reason for that is that if you don't have enough of the egg leaving to surround all the pigment particles, the pigment will just dry and brush off and you'll, you'll end up going like this and there will suddenly be a streak of pigment to go across it. So all the pigment particles need to be surrounded by the egg leaving. So we never start with a dry brush. Wet your brush and then dry it off. Press in the egg mixture and then you dry it off again. So you're working with a dry mixture, a dry brush. Um, before you start, you will have decided where you're going to do your gold leaf. Don't paint where you're going to put the gold leaf because it won't stick. Okay, so put it in and dry it off. And I'll start with blue in the corner. And you're just doing side by side strokes. And you just keep creating these side by side strokes until the brush runs out. And even though I dried off the brush, there was still quite a lot of paint in there. So reload it, dry it off, and carry on. Notice that I'm not using the point of the brush like that. If you do that, you'll get very sort of streaky. You use the, the brush slightly on its side, 
and because you're going to be building lots of layers it doesn't matter if it's a little bit uneven. Put in the paint, dry it off and carry on, go a little bit faster. If you get a blob at the end that means that you've got too much paint on your brush. That, so that means you have to go back to your cloth and dry it off some more. Right, so that's dry. It dries instantly. Mm. So put it on, dry it off, change your angle. So you're working at an oblique angle to the first time and carry on adding, adding layers. And you can see two layers will be darker than one layer. So if I, if that was, I could add a little bit more pigment to that. It's a little bit weak. If it starts to dry, you can't reconstitute it by adding water. You have to just make up fresh, fresh paint. And I added a bit more pigment. It's getting a little bit thick, so I'm just going to add just a drop of the egg medium. And that, that amount of paint there is enough for me to paint my whole board. It's, so don't feel you have to make great big puddles of paint. You're just making small amounts. Okay, was, I'm just going to change my angle. And And because you've got black borders, you can just go straight into your black border, which is why it's rather nice having slightly thicker lines. And that's dry, so I can just change the angle again and gradually build up the color. If you mix your paint too thickly with too much pigment, it'll be it would be much it tends to be streakier than if it's thinner. So now let's have a look at some of the other pigments. So that was ultramarine blue.